Welcome back everybody to Dave's MI Outdoors. Today we're going to be making venison wet burritos. So let's get started. We got one pound of venison in here. I'm going to turn up the heat and get it started. I'm going to chop it up a little bit. We're going to add our onions and spices and everything. And uh, get this going. Put in my onions. That's one medium onion and one escapee, they got to go back. I tell you what folks, I'm glad to be inside right now. It's February 27th and here in Michigan it was a nasty day outside. I woke up and it was super cold to snow and very windy and I'm just glad to be home making this video right now and uh, I work outside for a living and I tell you what it wasn't a good day for that but it's definitely a good day to be making some burritos for the family so I'm going to show you guys what I do to use up some of the venison and it's really good and the family enjoys it so hopefully you guys will learn to enjoy it too if you try it. I'm turn my heat down a little bit. I'm going to add my seasoning and what I got in this bowl is salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, and cayenne pepper, and I'm going to put how much I use in a subtitle on the screen when, I'm, when I edit the video so you guys can see how much I used. I'm going to put the lid on it and let it uh, cook up a little bit and we'll be back short. Okay let's check the meat. It's been cooking for a few minutes and it's venison so it cooks up pretty pretty quick and it's looking pretty good. So let's add the rest of the ingredients. I got some some diced green chilies. It's uh, four ounces. I'm going to put that in there. Mix that in a little bit. And we're going to add our refried beans. Great. I'm going to add my refried beans, and that's 16 ounces. Chop it up pretty good. Once it heats up, it'll liquefy a little better. Alright, I'm going to let that heat up for a little bit. Okay everybody, my burrito mix is all said and done. I got to cook down the beans cooked down a little bit and that's what it looks like right there. And it looks like this. You're all said and done. So I'm going to put this in a bowl and we're going to move on to warming up the tortillas. Okay everybody, I'm going to show you how I make my tortilla shells. I like to use olive oil right out of the bottle. I don't like the spray stuff you can use it if you like it's got more chemicals and aerosol and all that stuff in there and i try to stick away from as much of that crap as i can so i just i just use a paper towel and my hand, my pan is already preheated so you got to be careful i'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and you're going to spread it around in your pan this is just so your tortilla cooks a little bit get rid of the flour taste just set it aside for a second throw your tortilla in there 
I'm going to show you guys how I warm mine up real quick. You guys can do it however you like. This is just the way that I do it. So there's no right or wrong answer. Whatever makes you happy, you do that. You just have to lightly cook them. It gets rid of the little bit of the raw taste in the tortillas. Some people like to eat them raw, but I like them lightly, lightly cooked. And it's warm, and that's how I do it. That's what it looks like right there when I'm done, just lightly cooked. And um, I'm going to continue to do the rest, and we'll be back to show you how we make the burrito. Okay, everybody, it's assembling time. And what I like to do to start mine at first, I love con queso cheese, and I'm gonna put it on the inside of mine, kind of like a spread. And you, you don't have to use anything that I use. This is just the way I do it. Then I put my meat in. Be careful not to put too much, because remember you have to try to roll this burrito up, so, but. Probably around that much. And I can already tell you, I can probably put a little bit too much in there, but there's no right or wrong answer. You're going to get sloppy, anyways, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put some of my homemade sauce on top. And you put as much as you want. I like to put extra to have some dipping sauce on the side. Then I'm going to put some, some, some more cheese on there. I got some Mexican style shredded cheese. Kind of generous with that. And then of course, I'm going to put some sour cream on there. And I like a lot. So... I'll go ahead and cut it open here and taste test it for you. Because what does a cook if he doesn't taste test his own food? Man, is that good. And if you guys like my channel, please like and subscribe. Um, please leave any comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions on maybe what I should add to any of my recipes to try to make them better. Please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. All right, everybody, we're going to do a little uh, another video here. We uh, after eating them burritos and man, were they good! You guys have to try those out. Uh, we got a little uh, little package here from Polaris. Um, my wife was looking for something free, of course. I mean, I don't blame her. Um, we bought a 2020 Polaris a few weeks back and it was missing a couple little things on it. It was missing a little um, guard down by the, it was a plastic guard down by the CV axle and it was missing a, a little bolt under the hood that I noticed and then it, one of the little reflective stickers was messed up on it. And um, the dealership, they took care of all three items, no questions asked. We didn't notice it on when we were picking it up because we were super excited because we were looking to buy the Polaris ever since we bought our property. We thought long and hard about it and we finally made the buy and we, we absolutely love it. Um, we haven't drove it enough around to do a really good review on it right now. So I'm not gonna do a review on the Polaris. I'm gonna drive it around a little bit more and put some miles on it and see what I really think about it. and and that'll be a future video but on the other hand my wife emailed Polaris and told them we were missing a couple minor things on the Polaris and they felt bad because uh 
of the issue and she tried to get a couple hoodies but they didn't have no hoodies to give out but they sent us a package so we're gonna open the package and see what they sent us as a as a as a sorry and uh let's see what's in it Handy deer knife comes in handy. They know me already. They got me a hat. It's a pretty cool looking hat. Look at that. We'll get some use out of that. Got an extra large shirt here. Little shirt if you guys can see it good. That's definitely going to be a my size shirt. <laughs> So there's an extra large shirt, and there's a large shirt. Oh, you can tell it's a girl shirt just by looking at the sleeves on it. They got a shirt for the wife. Can we see that there. Um, come on, beer koozies. They really know us now. Gotta love beer. They gave us some Polaris stickers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six player stickers, all the same. It's pretty cool. Uh, pop grips for cell phones, two of them. It's pretty cool. And looks like we got two kind of like backpacks or something. Yep, looks like little backpacks. Both of them are the same. They say Polaris on them. So that's pretty cool, the company, to, uh, for a good sorry. I mean, it's not exactly what the wife was looking for, but, you know, they gave us two of everything. And we, we are loving the Polaris. And like I said, in the future, I'm going to be bringing you a video on it. And uh, I'm pretty sure as of right now, it's going to be a pretty good video because we absolutely love it. Besides the little minor things that it was missing, the dealership took care of it right away, no problems, and that's uh, thanks to Ball Equipment down in Richmond. I believe his name was Tony I dealt with, excellent sales manager. I couldn't, couldn't ask for better service. They took really good care of us. I mean, like I said, the Polaris runs excellent, fires right up, drives, goes, goes through everything we go through. I mean, we're not really too mean to it right now or anything like that, but uh, it's pretty cool that they gave us some stuff as a, as a thank you and, a, and as a sorry. And uh, they told us five to seven days, and it was three days. So we were kind of shocked. We just got done eating dinner, and UPS showed up with a box. I kind of thought I was going to be sending them to the neighbor's house, and I said, seen the box said Polaris, and uh, I don't think any of my neighbors own a Polaris. So, uh, that, so that's pretty cool. So I give a shout out to Polaris for for the uh, for the I'm sorry gifts, and um, I think they're going to be a pretty reputable company. So. Uh, you guys all have a good night and thanks for watching.